Looking for something to do in Madrid? Maybe you've already been to the Prado, Retiro, on a tapas crawl, seen all the monuments, and you're looking for something different. Can I interest you in boutique shopping in the Las Letras neighborhood? I know, shopping isn't what you think of when you think of Madrid. Perhaps you think of Milan or Paris or New York City, but Madrid actually has a ton of specialty shops with bespoke clothing, designer items, and hidden treasures for a low to reasonable price, if you know where to look. In this video, we demonstrate a sample of some of the most unique boutique shops in the most special neighborhood in Madrid. Every time we include a price, you'll hear a in the video. Entonces, vamos de compras, timid investors. To the boutique shops we go. Hola, timid investors. This is Tara from the channel She Saves, He Invests, They Travel, offering personal finance strategies and travel tips that work for ordinary people. Please remember to like and subscribe. And also, click on the links in the description below. All right, timid investors, vamonos! Con ánimo! Lolita McTinsel was my favorite of this batch of boutiques. The hours of operation are unclear and if the owner needs to take a call or run an errand, she closes the shop. But such is the life of a small business owner. But it was totally worth the wait. Dresses are feminine, detailed, princess and or ballerina-like. They appear to be from another era. They even have long gloves. The items in the store are sheer feminine elegance. I can't sing the store's praises enough. I could have spent hours in this shop. I bought two hats, a hairband that doubles as a belt, and a dress. The dress I am modeling in this video was out of the 29 euro bin. I went back and bought a pair of fruit silk pants out of the same 29 euro bin. I love the 29 euro bin. It's full of tiny pieces of clothing that the owner probably wants to get rid of, but they're just my size. Okay, I think we have a winner. Madrid Al Cubo is a totally original shop, which is close to Puerta del Sol and offers keepsakes and gifts featuring Madrid, but moving away from the idea of the typical souvenir. Designer objects related to the city, photos, books, t-shirts, dolls, etc. can be found. Como Madrid, it's like the Real Madrid like song. <laughs> there are a lot of inside jokes about the city and just funny items in general, such as framed pictures of paella or tortilla in the form of pie charts, Renaissance paintings of nude women featured on old fashioned Playboy covers, and of course, Madrid is the new bitch t shirts. Is that something ass? It is. It's 
And look, it's, it's actually going to be really kind of cool. I'm not sure about this one, but like... Is that an apple or actually somebody's butt? Oh my gosh. Oh, Agatha? Agatha de Fuego. Oh, Agatha de Fuego describes itself as an artisanal jewelry store and a jewelry and watches shop. But we found clothing, purses, and home decor there too. The jewelry looked like costume jewelry. All items were unique and very inexpensive. A gemstone tennis bracelet was only 10 euros. There were a lot of pieces of jewelry that I liked and wanted to buy. One could spend hours in the store, as there were thousands of pieces of jewelry. I bought two decorative lanterns for my balcony and interior patio. Labaceta describes themselves as a feminine, egalitarian, and hedonistic fashion store of sustainable clothing designed and made in Spain with respect for people and the environment. They started in Madrid at the turn of the 21st century. Clothing is made from organic materials. They partner with other brands and artists such as Marc Jacobs, the Thyssen Museum, and the New York and the New Museum of New York. I didn't notice any of that in the store, but the items are cute reminders of Madrid and the clothing designs were colorful and artistic. Real Fabrica Española seems to be a chain gift shop and home goods store that sells high quality authentic Spanish goods such as novelties, decor, gift baskets, olive oil, soaps, scarves, candles, wine, books, and vases. Everything inside is so elegant, classy, and beautiful and typifies Spain. The food is gourmet and the products are artisanal. I especially love the books. I could spend hours inside this store as well. Some items are rather inexpensive, like a good bottle of wine for $7.90, while other items, such as the world's most expensive stapler and pencil sharpener, not so much. It's outside of um, Burgos. It's where the um, oldest uh, human remains were found in the world. I bought the Pueblos de España book you saw modeled in the video. I also got a candle that smells like orange, which has lasted me for months, and I get a lot of compliments on it. Ojalá, Paloma del Pozo, is a store that definitely has original designs and high quality material. The clothing is certainly unique. The pieces look like modern art to me, like something you'd see straight out of MoMA. But they're not my style and I thought they were a bit overpriced. Everything was too big for me too. In conclusion, here are some of the items I have purchased in boutique shops in the Las Letras neighborhood so far. You have already seen some of these items in the other boutique shopping videos, and if not, be sure to check out those videos too. There are so many boutique shops in this neighborhood that we had to split the video into several parts. 
We'll wrap up this series by doing a top five video going into depth explaining why we chose five of the shops as our favorite. This series was made possible by the knowledge and planning of Andrea Summers, a local Las Letras resident.